got to the receiver early. They couldn't take my load. Layover for two days. I had to sit for two days on this load. Y'all, hmm. I don't know, but yeah. I've been sitting for two days, but I found something to do. But as usual, let's get into it, y'all. It's a beautiful morning here in Stewart's Draft, Virginia. It's my first time at this pilot, and I just love it. It's like I'm in a jungle, and it's totally separated from the auto side, which I love. I'm about to get myself ready because it's been a rough two days, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all in a second. And I'm about to start my day, so as usual, I got to do my little bathroom videos, get myself together, because it's been a long, long two day, y'all. Real long. What's up my YouTube fam? It's your girl Tati aka Just Trucking It and I'm reporting live from the sleeper today because like I just said I had two days of layover womp womp but I found something productive to do. I was like you know what I'm gonna use this time wisely and start getting the truck together but that's gonna be for another video because I still have a couple stuff to do so I'm not gonna show um, everything right now but I got like little stuff I gotta go buy some more stuff get my TV so I'm gonna do a truck tour once I'm done with everything which I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be done by this month because I know exactly how I want it but I digress as usual y'all yeah i've been sitting for two days now so today is may 22nd if you watched the last video that was may 17 and i got the chance to go home and head out for this load which was pickup in port of newark at aak for palm oil i think i'm at 47,400 in terms of the weight um and then i'm heading from newark to uh virginia so stewart draft virginia so if you if you remember the last video if you didn't watch the last video go watch it i need to start linking my videos like so y'all can just click and go back but uh, time patience yeah but y'all i told y'all i was setting myself up to do better just not caring about the hiccups along the way and just getting into my groove so once i had that home time i got to pack up a lot of stuff put on the truck i got a lot of stuff accomplished in that little one and a half day right almost two days right so i told myself i'm gonna set myself up i'm gonna get my get to my um shipper which is aak in new york early got there did that got out i even took a little break i had to make sure i got out of like a for a little bit out of pa because y'all know it takes a long while to get a pa but i got a little far out i think i passed harrisburg and then i parked up for the night i decided to do a split break so i did a sis which is a split sleeper so i did like seven hours in sleeper and then i got up i still had like what five hours and 30 minutes that's how much i had when i woke up i drove to stewart draft virginia in order to do the rest of the sleeper which would be three hours just to make sure i did my 10 hour reset and i didn't get a violation y'all i was pushing it i was pushing it to the last minute i had five hours and 38 minutes the remainder was four hours and i think 40 minutes to get to virginia right I did it. Traffic hit me. The ETA was an early ETA because my delivery was 4 p.m. I told dispatch I should be there by 1.30, which at the time was accurate until 30 minutes out I hit traffic and that got me to around 2 p.m. I got there. But either way, I got to the delivery and guess what? I'm there waiting for the guard to come back and tell me what's up. Check my Prime mobile app. Boom. There it is you cannot deliver this load until the 22nd y'all i was like <sighs> i can't win because i'm not gonna do a video i'm not gonna talk about figures right now i'm gonna do a separate video to let you know about my first settlement amount which was it was up to par to my standards but i'm gonna do that video for you separate but based on my first settlement i pretty much figured how i need to run in order to make sure i'm not in a negative you know what i'm saying because the main goal is not to be in a negative but at the same time you want to make sure you're making a profit you're making an earning nobody want to come home with 200 300 dollars nothing like that so i realized that i need to be between three to four loads right three to four loads a week right because most of the time on the weekend you might not get a loan you rarely are going to get weekend loans only certain people might get weekend loads so either way three to four loads so 
I said, okay, that's how I got to run. So the first load was a, it was a, not a decent payout, right? It was longer miles. Then the load after me going home, it was short. So it was 300 and something miles loaded to get to Virginia. And the payout was less than a thousand, to be honest. I think it was $892 minus the surcharge, minus the toll. I can't calculate any of that to say it's a thousand something dollars because either way that's not for me that's going towards some bills so the revenue would have been like 890 something dollars now i took that load simply because it's a shorter load and it would leave me to do my delivery on monday so i still have monday because remember my delivery is 4 p.m i still have monday to tuesday tuesday to wednesday payroll closes around in the evening on wednesday so it's either i'm gonna get one good load to bring me up or i'm gonna be able to do two short loads right when i got to the receiver and they told me that i had to sit out i was like uh-uh this is too much like this uh-uh this, this can't work but they said they're giving me the layover pay. They told me how much the layover pay was. So I'm like, at least that would have been probably close to a load, a one load I was going to get to probably deliver for a Wednesday. So I took the loss and just said, okay, fine. I'm, I won't know. I don't know what the possibilities could have been. So I took myself to pilot parked up and I took the time off to just get the truck together which I'm happy I got that done so now I'm waiting up right now till maybe I'm gonna head out at three uh, the location it's not that far where is, it's Hershey's so it's Hershey's in Stewart Draft Virginia it's not that far they also do the pump off all I gotta do is scale in back get back into the bay scale out and leave so from that point on i've asked to be sent to the pittston truck location because y'all my alignment is so off it's like legit pushing me to the left so i have to go ahead and um get myself to the truck shop so that's going towards pa i should be running northeast regional again so i'm gonna see what's up i've already talked to dispatch to see if there was any pre-planned load for me there wasn't so i told them about getting me to pits Pittston. I don't know if they're going to put me in a load to get me into PA or just have me deadhead to PA. But either way, I have to go to the truck shop. Truth be told, to be honest, the truck has been a little... However, I have that warranty. I'm trying to make sure I get everything done within that 90-day warranty. But additionally, I did not want to be going back to that Springfield terminal. I, I, I don't want to. I do not want to be back in Springfield because I feel like whenever I go back to Springfield, it's going to be a couple days of me sitting out and I can't afford to be out anymore. I got into the lease to make sure I was running better. You know, it's less cut down. It's less stuff messing me up. So I'm about to go ahead and get myself prepared to head to my um, delivery. I'm going to go there probably an hour early, probably maybe close to an hour early i don't want to get there too early i'm praying that they're able to unload me they didn't tell me why but truth be told it's probably because they didn't have enough space in the tank to actually accept the load but it happens that's another thing i'm realizing with tankers it's just how it's set up in certain ways where probably not a load a lot of load on the weekends three to four um loads that probably is the most you're gonna get depending on how dispatch running or the loads being available but for me if i'm back in the northeast then i know that the miles won't be that crazy right and i prefer to be in the northeast it's just what i'm used to more comfortable with because this is where i i live and this is where i started training and so forth so I'm going to end this here, y'all. I'm going to catch y'all in the other part of the video of me. I'll show y'all me going to um, Hershey's. I'll see what I can do in terms of showing you the process. I still haven't been able to do a full beginning to end pump off video for you guys, which I apologize for. There's not going to be me pumping off here as well. So hopefully I get like a, a receiver in the Northeast where I can go ahead and just film that whole process for you. The pump off is it's becoming second nature for me even when i do have a hiccup i know how to quickly get back in the game to fix it so that's the good thing about um doing the pump off i haven't had any hiccup ain't no wood but i'm gonna still knock it god forbid you know i check my dome make sure everything is good make sure you know what i'm saying i have it open and stuff like that so 
I digress. I'm gonna catch y'all on the other part of the video just to show y'all me heading out. And hopefully we can just get on a load going into Pittston. But if not, I have to get the truck fixed. It's more important. It's making me feel very uncomfortable. It's like legit really pushing me over. So hopefully they can get that done within a short time frame um, of me being there. Maybe a day tops because they said they have availability at all the locations now. So I'm looking into that to say it's the best time for me to go in. So I'll catch y'all on the next video. And I can't wait to show y'all the sleeper and everything, y'all. I have this set up. It's going to be a home. You see the curtains in the back? This is about to be home, y'all. And I'm going to tell y'all why. I can't wait to share that news with you guys. I've been preaching it for months now about my next step. I can't wait to share it with you. Catch you on the other part of the video, y'all. So this time I got to the receiver 30 minutes early and I just had to scale in, which is a little bit different over here. You pretty much gotta do your own ticket yourself. So you're gonna see I'm about to hop onto the scale. I gotta enter this little house right here to go in and get my scale ticket. I gotta put it in a machine and then um, print it. It's only just the weight pretty much, but I need it for my records. Okay, y'all, so... <laughs> picking up from the last video so i'm at the um the receiver which you saw i came in that scale and i got here at 331 so 1531 the appointment the new appointments for 1600 so 4 p.m um i'm i'm just sitting so someone's in the bay i gotta go to bay 47 but there's a um a tank in there already i just passed it and everything and the time frame for them to normally unload is like an hour, could be an hour plus. So right now it's 3.33 in Springfield. So their time for Prime in Springfield. So therefore, unless I get into the, um, it's not possible. <laughs> I don't know why I'm lying to myself. It's not possible. It's not going to be possible for me to get in the bay and have that bill of lading signed right away because they they rarely sign that bill of lading right away they normally wait till everything is done then they get that done so unless i'm gonna get in the the bay within 27 minutes um with maybe 10 minutes to spare to scan in my documents i won't be making pay period now mind you i was early on the 20th and I'm early on the 22nd and I have to sit. My appointment time pass. I put my detention um, sticker on because if it gets to an, it's already passed at uh, detention. It's just a matter of if it's gonna be an hour or two hours um, sitting here. There's nothing I can do at this point. Like I've, I've been working so hard not even to get upset or riled up about anything, disappointments, but I really was setting myself up to just get a certain amount of loads within a certain pay period so already kind of messed up for me to have only two loads but the layover pay could have helped me but now if i don't get this in for this pay period i only have one load now remind mind you there's fixed costs there's a truck payment my first week my payment was deferred but even with deferment a portion out of each fixed cost does come out right so a portion of the truck payment, a portion of everything comes out regardless. Now with the second week now, you're gonna have the full cost of the truck payment plus you're gonna have a portion of the deferred payment come in. Based on what I just earned for that one trip, <laughs> yeah, I'm trying, I'm gonna see how this is set up. So now this whole trip and layover is gonna go on the next pay period because I didn't get it in, which was of no fault of mine. So I'm gonna catch up on the next part of the video just to let y'all know what time I got in the bay and so forth, but it's not looking good, y'all. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, but what can I do? I can't do anything but stick to the plan. So I'll catch y'all on the next part of the video. So after sitting for almost two hours, I finally got into the bay to unload. And I actually met a really, 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 really nice trucker from ER oh, Huel. Wow. So that was a plus for me. But I'm headed out because it's time to go. And just like that, it's day 
from day to night, y'all, because I don't know where this ring came from, but it's a blessing. We always say it's a blessing in Jamaica, so I'll gladly take it. So I'm about to head out right now and just see what's my next move, if I'm going to park up at a rest area or I'm going to continue to my next load. Hey, y'all. So I'm pretty much at the end of my run for this load. So as you see, or as you saw, correction, yeah, I did the scale out and everything and I just had to park up just to see what my next plan was. So um, this load, I guess they can work it out for me to get this load in. So that's that's a plus for me because honestly, you saw the whole stuff with that. You know, I don't think I should lose out on that for this pay period but they seem like they can work for me and work with me and they told me if i could get this new so this new load right it's another case of it ain't the best load but again i need to get closer to pa anyways and i prefer to get closer to pa to get to the truck shop and go there with a load so i'm supposed to go to maryland salisbury maryland and then go to Hopog, that's how you pronounce it. So I go to that end and then um, from there, I'd suggest for me to come back into PA some way so I can go to the truck shop because now I'm having like a transmission um, alert, code alert on there. It's a non-critical, but that's one thing. Then I gotta do the alignment. The, the, the radio, I don't know what's, what's up with this. I'm gonna give international props. That's why I prefer like old school truck without the whole digital setup because I just feel like there's more problems with it. The the um, radio, it's it's too much. The Bluetooth, you know, keeps messing up every now and then. I'm pretty sure other Peterbilt drivers for Prime can attest to these same issues. Like I legit was driving and that it just legit shut off and came back on. I don't know but the Bluetooth function is like all over the place so I just drove without any music at that point I guess it's preparing me for a camera for when the camera comes in for me to be bored as hell and not be doing much I don't know but um yeah so what I decided um my load is five pick up 5 p.m. to 2 a.m. in the morning so that's the open window so when I get to the delivery point it's for 10 a.m. on the 24th you know my fleet my fm said they probably can help me out to get this load in but it has to be before 12 unloaded before 12 tomorrow so i just said you know what, let me go to the rest area coming out of um stewart drafts park up and see what i need to do if i need to just stop park up do a full do my reset sleep or whatever i want to do or i should drive straight to um maryland and stay there honestly i called the the shipper and they told me the earliest time they'll take me is 10 a.m. in the morning. But I have to get my trailer washed. The tank wash is there as well. So I got to get that done. So I just told myself, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not killing myself to, no, I'm not doing that. Plus, again, the load is, so therefore, the load ain't, but it's just going to get me into PA. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a sleeper, a split right now. I'm going to do my split and head out to like 3 probably 3 a.m. I was gonna head out do the the full but I'm not gonna do it I prefer to reach earlier so I can get my tank washed and then be uh, early do my early pickup way before my time frame and then head out to New York and if I just gotta park up or unload there fine I can still unload if they'll take me on the 23rd I can unload on the 23rd instead of the 24th and by then that can set me up for a new load going into PA I'm gonna request that I gotta get the um this alignment sorted out I don't even want to be driving in the nighttime because it's really to the point where it's pushing me so far left like I gotta be paying attention to my lines and everything like I'm watching the cars beside me and they think I'm gonna come over I control it well enough but I'm like border at the line so anybody would think I'm coming over on them so um, I want to get that done so right now I prefer to be driving in the daytime versus the nighttime to be honest even though the nighttime is more peaceful so I think I could be okay at 3 a.m. in the morning it's not a lot of traffic or anything and then that's gonna push me into the early morning so that's the setup so I'm gonna like end this video right here y'all as usual thank you so much for watching and for all your support y'all i just love the little sleeper in the background and stuff it's like giving you a mini preview right like a mini preview but 
I can't wait to set this whole thing up. Like, the curtains came out really, really good. And then I have two curtains over here, but I'm going to add another um, two just to make it appear as nice and neat as the side over here. And I, I got like a whole theme set up for it to seem like it's my bedroom or something, right? I tried to be fancy, but I, I, I'm, that's too much for the truck. I was going to go fancy, like, but nah. But as usual, y'all, thank you so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, share on your socials if you want to share. You can do like, what do you call those videos? Those duo videos if you want. I have no problem with that. If you want to follow me on social media, you can follow me on Instagram at Just Trucking It Tati. It's Instagram for me. TikTok is Just Trucking It as well, but I'm kind of cool off TikTok right now. They've been weird over there. So Instagram is the home for me. Facebook, that's a whole different ballgame. I won't even mention that. I don't really use it, like, use it that much. But Instagram, Just Trucking It Tati. Thank you so much as always for watching. And I'll catch y'all on the next video and i'll show y'all everything about the next load and also we can go ahead and discuss um the pay my first settlement how that was hmm. let's see y'all catch y'all on the next video bye